Hey guys, uh, I want to do a quick video on how to add and subtract sign numbers and also maybe do some multiplication and division with sign numbers. Okay, so growing up, I always use this rule in terms of sign numbers. Okay, the rule is actually pretty simple same signs and make it a plus. Right. Different signs, gonna make it a negative. And what I mean by this, okay, so every time you have, let's say I have 3 minus a negative 2, okay? Each time you have two mathematical operations, two signs right next to each other, okay, and you don't know what to do, well, just look at if they're the same signs or different signs, okay? We have a minus here and a minus here. In this case, they're the same sign, a minus minus the same. Therefore, it's going to be same sign. We're going to use the plus. Okay? So, what you can do is actually erase the two negatives and you ma just make it 3 plus 2. Okay? And you get the answer is 5. Okay? Another example. What about 4 minus positive 5? Okay? Right, again, using the same, uh, same rule here, look at the negative and the positive sign. Are they same or different? In this case, they're different, so you can rewrite those two signs with a minus, and it's just 4 minus 5. Okay. Let's do a few more examples. 3 plus positive 6. Okay. Same signs, this is 3 plus 6, you get 9. Okay. Uh, what about... 4 plus negative 5. Alright, again, different sign, subtraction. Okay. Now on to multiplication and division. We're going to use the same rules here, okay? But it's a little bit, just a little bit different. For example, we have a negative 4 times let's say negative uh, 2. Okay. In this case, we do multiplication and we're going to look at the signs in front numbers. We have a negative here and a negative here. Okay. Because they're the same sign, we're going to use the rule on top, the same sign, the answer is going to be a positive answer. Then you multiply just 4 times 2 and you get 8. So the answer is positive 8. Now let's do another one. Negative 4 times uh, positive 6. Okay. In this case over here, you can see that is a negative and a positive because they're different signs. The answer is going to be negative. Okay. And it's just 4 times 6. 24 is the answer. Let's do a few more. Uh, how about um, a negative 4 uh, times a negative I don't know, 8. Okay. Same sign, negative and negative. We will get uh, positive 32. Okay. Let's jump down to division. What about 64 divided by 8? Well, if you don't put a sign, you know it's a positive. So it's a positive 64, positive 68. Because they're the same signs, the answer is going to be a positive answer. 64 divided by 8 is 8. And that's your answer. What about negative 24 over 12? Okay. So we have a negative sign on top, a positive sign on the bottom. They're different signs, therefore the answer is going to be a negative number. 2. Okay, one more. How about negative 3 times negative 2 times negative 6? Okay. In this case over here, we're doing two at a time. Okay, I'm going to do the first two first because they're both negative signs. The answer is going to be a positive. And then 3 times 2 is going to be a 6. All right. 
then you're going to carry the other one down. Negative 6. Alright, we're still multiplying these two. And now we look at the signs. This one's going to be, the first one's going to be a positive sign. Sorry, let me just fix the colors here. First one's going to be positive. Next one's going to be a negative, therefore different signs. You get a negative answer. It's negative 36. And that's it. That's how you add, subtract, multiply, and divide sign numbers.